Welcome to Story Time for Kids. And remember, if you haven't already done so, hit that like and subscribe button for more stories. Today, we're reading Clifford the Big Red Dog, the Stormy Day Rescue. One day, Clifford found a very big bone. I will bury it, Clifford said. Cleo and T Bone helped him find a good spot. Not far away, Samuel was serving lunch. It looks as if we might get a storm, he said. Just then, sand began to fly. I asked for a fish sandwich, said Victor. Not a sand sandwich. Samuel looked down. He saw Clifford digging. You are getting sand in the food, said Samuel. Clifford was sorry. Please go dig somewhere else, Samuel said. Soon, Clifford, Cleo, and T Bone found a better spot for the bone. You don't even have to dig, said T Bone. The hole is already there. But the hole was not deep enough for the bone. Clifford dug deeper. When he finished, Mr. Howard came to the hole. He dropped a tree inside. It fell to the bottom. How did this hole get so deep? asked Mr. Howard. Clifford barked happily. That hole was for this tree, Mr. Howard said. Please go dig somewhere else. Meanwhile, the storm grew closer. At the school, Miss Carrington's class was worried. Remember when the last storm flooded the library, Jetta said? Maybe it will happen again. Maybe the wind will blow things around, said Charlie. Like that. The class looked outside. Dirt was flying everywhere. Clifford, called Emily Elizabeth. You can't dig a hole here, said Emily Elizabeth. We are having a class. Clifford hung his head. Emily Elizabeth patted Clifford's nose. You had better go home now, she said. Clifford decided to bury his bone in his own backyard. He said goodbye to Cleo and T Bone. Next door, Mr. and Mrs. Bleakman worked in their garden. The Bleakmans were covering their flowers to save them from the storm. Clifford began to dig. Dirt flew into the Beakman's yard. Poor Clifford was told to dig somewhere else. Again. The storm was moving closer. Everyone met at the library. They began to build a wall of dirt. It would keep the waves out during the storm. We have to make the wall very high, said Mr. Howard. That's a lot of digging, said Charlie. I know the best digger around, cried Emily Elizabeth. Clifford. Dig, boy, Emily Elizabeth said. But Clifford would not dig. Clifford just sat. Emily Elizabeth understood. All digging isn't bad, she said. It's just that there's a right time and place for it. Before long, the wall was built. Clifford saved the library. Later, Everyone gave Clifford bones for his hard work. I'll help you bury them, Emily Elizabeth said. Somewhere perfect, just like you. The end. <laughs>